Here's a fun fact, TikTok has over 1 billion monthly active users alone and it has become one of the biggest platforms in the world. Obviously makes so many people famous, but not all of them are good. Some of them are really, really bad. From breaking into people's homes, sexual assault, and even murder being involved, we're going to find out who the 5 infamous TikTokers were that went to jail. So this guy's name is Inquisitor. He is a famous Call of Duty TikToker and he is very encouraging. He's very positive, he loves encouraging people, he loves bringing positive vibes. He might not look like it if you look at his mask, but he's actually very encouraging. But sadly, he just killed himself live on TikTok. So what happened? So Inquisitor initially hired this editor and her name is AJ. And she is really really young. Keep that in mind, that will come into play later. And Inquisitor is over 21. So as they were talking and talking, the AJ developed feelings for Inquisitor. But Inquisitor said no, because the age gap was too high. And eventually, they stopped working together. And as AJ moved on, she got a little bit salty. But she was dating this guy. Tito was acting badly. And he all has uh, 1 million TikTok followers on TikTok. And as they were dating, they decided to frame Inquisitor for being a groomer. And it was quite ironic because he was denying the minor. And this was a text, was released, was leaked while they were framing Inquisitor's death. Before then, nobody knew that. So Tito was acting badly, his fans started sending hate towards Inquisitor's way heavily. And as his hate was getting more and more, Inquisitor couldn't handle it. So one day, he decides to end it all on TikTok Live. And this is the day Inquisitor ended his life on stream. And in this video show that his friends breaking into his house trying to save him. You see, they're breaking his windows, they're trying to get in, but it was too late. So what happened? These two just drive another TikToker to unalive himself live. I mean, they did go to jail, but they did not serve a lot of long jail time. They got released very shortly afterwards. Their both social media accounts are gone. If you look at it, Tito was acting badly's link tree, it's all gone. So this is a bad ending to a sad story. Well, this guy, his name is Oxong or Wanjong. He has like 23 million followers on TikTok. And he is really popular. He has won like awards and stuff. Like over here, you can see he's won awards. But he just got convicted for sexual assault. And here is a live footage of him assaulting, drugging, and bringing another woman back to his hotel. And he just got sentenced to seven years in jail. And this next one is probably the darkest on this list. Her name is Claire Miller. And she's pretty big on TikTok. But not for the good things. For like the very edgy emo stuff. And that followed her because she killed her own older sister. As you can see here, she has a lot of dark and emo thoughts. But that's not even the worst part. This is her sister. Her older sister that's 19 years old. She, Claire, decides to stab her sister on a wheelchair to death. And while she was in court, all right, I probably should not show that. But while she was in court, she was sentenced to 40 years in jail. But she claimed that she was in depression and she should get off the hook. But it was a happy ending because she did get sentenced to 40 years in jail and she's going to be staying there for a while. Now, this okay, one is probably the most infuriating and annoying. This guy's name is Secret Mizzy and he's a UK TikToker that just walks into other random people's houses. Like, look at this. This woman was cleaning. This guy just randomly, with his friends, decides to barge into their house. James. Look how scary it is. You man come? And then we need to speak to James. James. Look at this. Look how scary it is. It's just where the study group is. No. No. What the number is this? No. Look how scary it is. What if they had a knife, a gun, or a weapon like? Especially in Texas. These guys would be dead by now. Look at them. They just hang out in Wait, somebody's house. Kids, man. Oh, this is trespassing. Oh, I thought this was a study group. I actually thought. Yo, don't do this in Texas. You will be gone. They didn't even do it once. They did it multiple times. Look at this. See? Look how scary it is. And look at these homeowners. Why don't they just lock their doors? They think it's a joke. Sorry? You got nice dog. Oh my god, he she's lovely, she's sweet. He stole this woman's dog? Bing gang, hold on a gang. Your side! Your side! Look at this dog. Are you serious? We all side every single time! Easy. I boss. Come and see what the f? Uh, 
Yo, how is that possible? UK is too relaxed. This will never happen in the US. What? What? I can't ride it in here. He doesn't agree. And by the way, he got arrested multiple times. He came out and he kept doing it. He doesn't learn his lesson. Bro, he's like that guy, uh, Johnny Somali. He's just uh, being a public nuisance. He even does it in the library, bro. Keep moving. Keep moving. All for TikTok clout. The more followers he gets, the more he keeps doing it, bro. This is a, what, another library? And the cops actually just release him. They just keep releasing him. Like, I don't know why. Oh, you're not allowed to ride a bike in here. He never got punished for this, by the way. Like, he's, he's still out and about. And this next one is about TikToker Cameron Heron, who has a pretty a decent amount of followers on TikTok. So what basically happened, him and his friend John Bernay were street racing. And what happened was they hit a mother with her baby. So basically, he just killed a mother and her kids while they were crossing the street. And this is what happens during the trial. This trial can sentence him, I think, 30 years in jail. This was the husband. I've suffered horrifically every moment. It is nearly impossible to put into words the agony of this legal process. Bro, that's so sad. He's looking forward to having a family. Then watching her daughter grow up, go experience school, experience birthday. It was all taken away by this reckless driver. This TikToker, bro. That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh. You dare request a chance to live out your dreams. When you eliminated all of mine, you've shown zero remorse. The truth behind this is that you are privileged. You killed a mother and a daughter. No one else in this city but you did. Cameron. This is a particularly difficult case because there's really nothing that the court can do that's um, capable of, uh, of, of, of fixing uh, the harm that has been caused to the victims in this case. On count one, vehicular homicide, the court's going to uh, adjudicate the defendant guilty, sentence him to nine years in Florida State. That's Florida. it? Count two, same charge. Court will more. adjudicate the defendant guilty. Sentence him to 15 years Florida State Prison. And that'll run consecutive to count one. For a total of 24 years Florida State Prison. That's it? 24. How how old will he be when he get out? Like 40s? Let me check. Let me search it. Let me let me use my calculator. He's 18 plus 24. 18 plus 24. 42. Damn, he's gonna be 42 when he comes out. But I think that's too little. Honestly, too little. He should be in his 50s or 60s, minimum. He took a baby girl and a wife. They submitted an appeal. Believe it or not, we do feel something for the defendant. But although this won't bring my wife back, I hope that this sentence will inspire Yo, the picture. younger folks to behave in a manner that is appropriate amongst our Look students. at this picture, it's so sad. Deserved, honestly, deserved, bro. All right, guys, so that's about it. These are the five most infamous TikTokers that went to jail. So that was a lot of fun for me. So let me know if you guys want more versions of this, like streamer, YouTubers, and maybe more. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It'll really help me, and it'll tell me that you want more videos like this. So, bye.